Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, bringing you guys day 9 of 23. This is uh, 23 Days of Jordans, and uh, starting off with day 1, we had the Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s on day 7. We had the 8s yesterday, and that means today is the Jordan 9s. We'll continue this series all the way till we hit 23, and uh, yeah, so these are the 9s that I chose. Uh, I do have the the Pures, or the, the I think it was the Anniversary Edition, um, all white Jordan 9s. I, I didn't want to do those ones. Um, I liked them and I actually got them as a gift so it's even, uh, I guess, even nicer for myself. But I wanted to do these ones because uh, it's my favorite colorway of these shoes. I also do like the charcoals as well and um, a little backstory on the charcoal ones. I had a neighbor friend that actually had those when I was a kid and he was uh, getting rid of them because they were just beat up. And so... Um, so I was like, man, you know, my ears perked up when he said he was throwing them away. And I was like, whoa, I'm like, do you think I can have them? And he was like, yeah, sure. So he ended up giving me his his charcoal pair of Jordan 9s, and they were thrashed. I mean, he used them for, like, like, yard work and stuff. So they were they were pretty garbage, but it was, like, the most expensive pair of shoes I had at the time. So I was pretty stoked that I had them. I don't know what, even what ended up happening to those shoes. So um, they ended up just going away eventually. But it was pretty cool for me. At least it felt kind of cool that I was able to have them, even if they were – secondhand or whatever it was but um but yeah i really like the the charcoal colorway i think they retroed recently and correct me if i'm wrong but i think that they did and and i really wish i would have picked those up now it's one of those buyer's remorse things where there's so many releases coming out you you, you try to be selective of which ones you can get that was one of them i didn't pick up and now i'm like damn it i really wish i got them um so who knows maybe i'll, I'll go on ebay and try to find them it'd be kind of fun to have them but uh the other thing is these jordan nines um, so I, I graduated from Oregon State University, which is the like the rival of of U of O um, of the Ducks, basically. And uh, University of Oregon is where uh, the founder of uh, of Nike graduated from. So they have the Jordan threes with uh, the pit crew or whatever with uh, the U of O O on those one on the tongue of those ones um, that Tinker has for himself, but. They have the, for me, they have the Jordan 9s with the Oregon State O on the back. And if I could get my hands on those, dude, it would be ridiculous. Um, but I know they're really, really, they're rare and they're expensive. Uh, so I, don't, I doubt I'll be able to get those. But if I can, that would be crazy because that that would be awesome to have that. It would actually be cool to have both of those um, pairs next to each other. And then I could have, like, my rival shoes next to each other. But uh, that's thousands of dollars away and uh, kind of out of reach. Any which way... Uh, let's get into these a little bit closer and you can see these shoes. Now this is the box that came in right underneath it actually. This is the, the countdown box and you can see 14 and 9, $310 was retail. I really, I really liked the countdown packs. I know that some of you guys didn't like them. Some of you guys are questioning the quality. For me, I didn't have quality problems uh, on my packs that I purchased and I paid retail for every single pack. Um, you know, it's expensive, 310 and then they released every month. It was kind of a, a pain, but um, but I'm glad I was able to purchase as many as I did. I would like to be able to complete the rest of the, the Countdown Pack series as well, uh, but it helped me complete my Jordan series, and I apologize if you hear the, the washer machine in the background. Uh, got to do what you got to do uh, during the daytime. Anyway, these shoes are fresh, man. Let's turn on the, the flash real quick so you can see. Um, I really like these shoes, and you can see it kind of speckles. It, it looks like little pixie dust or something. <laughs> But uh, but it's I think it's a reflective uh, 3M material on on these ones. Really like the way that those look. Uh, I apologize the camera. I probably should get a new camera. I, I use my iPhone really. That's all I use for this. Um, really like the subtle hints of red though. There's just the Jumpman there, a little one. The 23 in, embroidered on the back with with the Jumpman uh, little logo here. You can see right there. And uh, man, that washing machine must be washing the crap out of my clothes because it's going. <laughs> Ham over there, it's so loud. And then there's the, the Air Jordan on the tongue. Um, I really do, one thing I really do like about these, which are different than any of the other Jordans uh, to date, which were the eyelets right here, and how they have them not just on the top two or whatever, at, excuse me, as some Jordans may have, they have them the, all the way up, which is, which is great. I mean, it's kind of an easier way to, to tug on these and actually just tighten your laces real, real easy just from pulling on the top instead of having to cinch up and cinch up and cinch up all the way up. Um, so that's kind of a, a, a neat idea. I, I like the fact that they did, they did that. Reminds me of snowboarding a little bit as well because I, I snowboard and you, um, you know, sometimes you have those those boots that have these locks like that. So kind of cool concept. I like that. Uh, I liked how the tongue has the the mesh material uh, back in the day. That's definitely what they were using. 
uh, for uh, you know breathability and whatnot. Um, you can see the little pattern along the side for the uh, the stitching here. Looks kind of nice. And uh, let's see the bottom. And I don't even know what the heck that's saying. And I'm sure that you guys can can tell me, but it says a bunch of crap in a bunch of different languages, and I don't know what what it's saying. Um, but yeah, it says Jordan is awesome, I think. And and there's a big, huge uh, red jump man on the bottom, which is cool as well. And then there's this little plate right here. I'm surprised that's not actually carbon fiber. But uh, if they revise that, make a make a elite version, make that carbon fiber and charge us. Three hundred dollars for that. If you guys didn't see, I did a video response yesterday as well. I squeezed in another video uh, to J Star's uh, comments and or his video on on ri rising prices of uh, Jordans and and stuff. So check the the videos on my page basically if you guys want to check that out. Any which way, favorite colorway of these. Uh, I wish I had the charcoals. I and uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like these shoes? Do you guys hate these shoes? Um, do you guys like the Jordan Nines more than the? I like the Nines more than the Eights personally, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's that's about all I got, guys. I gotta get going. I got a busy day today. I gotta go uh, get ready and get a playlist ready for the nightclub. I'm DJing tonight, and uh, yeah, it's a crazy, crazy weekend. My wife's birthday is this weekend, so gotta go up, go big, and have a uh, hopefully she'll have fun, and uh, gotta make her dinner and all that stuff on Sunday. So anyway, have a good weekend, guys, and uh, check back tomorrow for day what is it, day ten. So yeah, thanks, guys.